Welcome to Jedi. Jedi of the Jedi here, and guess what, guys? We got our first solo set, and the name of this solo set is the Lego Stars Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. That's right. I can't wait to open this new Lego Star Wars solo yes. set, and it comes with four minifigures, guys. And we only paid fifteen bucks for this, so yes. we're super excited. All right, Chief of the Jedi, it's already open. Let's see what's inside. Get out of there. <laughs> Ooh, got an instruction the manual. manual. We've got bag number one. And we have bag number two. All right, Chief of the Jedi, it's all on you, buddy. Put it together. Let's get right into these four new minifigures that came with the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. First up, we've got the Imperial Recruitment Officer. And I think he looks pretty sweet with those 70s sideburns, that cool mustache, and that tiny little goatee. And what I notice is he looks pretty darn similar to the one that was seen in the Solo movie trailer who was talking to Han Solo. So I cannot wait to see the movie to see if that is indeed him. And as you can see, his torso design shows that he wears the major rank badge. So he looks pretty sick. I'm super happy to have him. And next up, we have a female Imperial Immigration Officer. I'm so happy that they made this minifigure a female. She looks super sweet in that mostly black uniform. And she's got that armor printing on her torso. And what I notice is she wears the same helmet as the Death Star Troopers do. And we will show you in a minute, she does have a duplicate face on the back. Well, not a duplicate face, but an alternate face. And next to her, we've got the two Imperial Patrol Troopers. And what I've noticed about them, me and Gio were talking about this, they look to have new helmet molds that are kind of similar to the clone troopers and stormtrooper helmets. So what do you guys think about those new helmet molds? Let's show you a little bit from the side. Check it out, check it out. We'll show you the backs in a second. But we really think they look like a cross between the clone trooper and stormtrooper helmets for sure. Let us know what you guys think about that. And of course they appear to be law enforcement Imperial troopers but we won't know anything as facts until we get to see the movie. So let's turn these guys around. Geo the Jedi, why don't you remove their helmets and their little hats there. I'll give you some help on this guy. And let's see, and there it is guys. There is the Imperial Immigration Officer's alternate face. So in the front, she looked like she was just having an A-OK -okay day, but turn her around to the back and she is super angry. And of course, our Imperial Patrol Troopers do not have any alternate face, and neither does the Imperial Recruitment Officer. But I love all the detailing that they placed on their backs. I love this little crease fold that they put here in the back of his jacket. Lego, you did an amazing job with this battle pack and these four new minifigures. And of course, they all came with stud shooters. We would have loved to have blaster pistols or something like that instead. But that's okay, right, Geo the Jedi? Yes, Mommy Jedi. All right, let's check out this build of this nice little speeder now. Check out the speeder, guys. Yeah, so you can see it's not too big, but you know, what do you expect for a $15 battle pack? It's not supposed to be huge but I really do love it. I love its sleek design. I think it looks pretty great. What do you think about it, Geo the Jedi? I really like it too. Yeah, you know what I really like? I love this little blue exhaust detail in the back. That's just one of my favorite colors in Lego brick form is this translucent light blue. I just think it looks great. And as you can see, we have the printed Imperial Insignia little Lego pieces there, which is awesome to get printed Lego pieces. And this set came with no stickers, which is amazing. You can see that it's got some stud shooters there. 
and we notice, guys, that you can briefly see this in the solo teaser movie trailers. I'm telling you guys, it looks pretty similar to the one that you can see, and it, they make it look really accurate in Lego form. So I truly cannot wait to see the movie and see all of this stuff in action. And the only downfall to this little speeder is Look at where they have the steering handles for the driver. And Geo the Jedi, show them that he cannot reach them. Look uh, at that, guys. Help me. I can't reach them. I know. Like, we've even tried to take this whole piece off and move it up to this one here. And even try to place this section here to try and get it closer. And no matter what we tried, guys, it does not reach the driver. So that is definitely one downfall to this build. I think Lego must have made one small little accident in their instructions or something because it just, it just doesn't function properly as the handles for him to hold on to. But other than that, we are super impressed with this build. It looks amazing. And what do you guys all think about this build? Please let us know in the comments below. Hey, Jim oh. the Jedi, come on, man. We oh. gotta finish this video. I was having so much fun playing with this Lego set. And I cannot wait to go see the solo movie. I cannot wait to see this, these minifigures in action and this cool speeder in action. And I cannot wait to see it so bad, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Bye!